Time for first ride of the new year. Outside is cold and dark and wet and miserable. Doesn't matter because I'm testing my new Climb Gore-Tex shell. Very practical, rather boring though, uh, but hopefully it will keep me snug and dry. Should do because it's bloody expensive. Less boring and less practical is my new Moscow tank bag. Testing that as well. Key doesn't fit in the bike anymore. Uh, I probably don't fit on the bike anymore because it takes up half the saddle but I absolutely love it, it is awesome. It looks great, hopefully it works very well. Christmas present to myself. Probably my best Christmas present. Um, other Christmas presents included shower gel and shampoo, so not competing against a lot. Uh, shampoo, just stuff I could, just stuff I buy when I go shopping shampoo, not really a exotic gift, is it? Wise men didn't rock up at the stables with some donkey feed, did they? Hey Joseph, bought you some hay. Thought you might need some hay. Well, he did need hay, didn't he? But he probably had that already, or he could get it locally. Not really gold or myrrh, whatever that is, but it's not hay. Sidetracked. Um, also got a clutch slave thingy that I fitted myself, but I don't really understand, so more on that later rather than now. And lastly, I just need to test my new garage clothing storage system. That works. And we're back, brilliant ride out this morning. We went south from here down to the Trans-European Trail around Basingstoke and then took that out west towards Hungerford. The trails down there are superb. Just beautiful English countryside. In some sections you ride along dual carriageway, pretty busy road. You then turn off into a lay-by, and before you know it, you're in the middle of nowhere. We got the drone up in the air, absolutely stunning down there. It was cold, but it wasn't too cold. The terrain was tricky, but it wasn't too tricky. Just perfect conditions. To mislead, this is all you need. Be your everything, yeah, I'll be your everything. Still too soon to feel. Please just say it real. More than just a thrill, not just in it for the thrill. I'm in it for the love, cause love it needs to touch it. You're pressing on my buttons, babe, let me tell you something. I'm in it for the love, cause love it needs to touch it. You're pressing on my buttons, babe, let me tell you something. And so to the three things that I wanted to test. First of all, clutch slave, which is down here. So I had read loads of stuff online, all the forums for the 701 mentioned how people had had issues with this failing. It's the part, for those of you that are not mechanical, like me, that pushes in and disengages the clutch when you pull your lever. If it fails, you have no clutch, and that's a big deal. So I purchased the Oberon replacement that everyone seems to recommend. It came with very straightforward instructions. If I can fit it, you can fit it. And as an example of, of my level, I didn't know where that part went on the bike. I had to watch YouTube to find where that went. I thought it was up here somewhere. It's not, it's down there. Very straightforward. The only slightly tricky bit about fitting it is refilling the clutch reservoir with brake fluid so the hydraulics will work but there's lots of demonstrations on youtube about how to do that and it works superb so happy with that and a bit of extra peace of mind when we go off on longer journeys more interesting things 
Climb Gore-Tex Overshell. I've got the top and I've got the bottoms. The price is going to come down here somewhere because I forget how much it was. It's not cheap. Until now, I've been wearing a very cheap and very easily packable but leaking lightweight raincoat. Useless. Good at keeping the wind out, no good at keeping the water out, gone in the bin. This does not fold down anywhere near as small. It needs to be packed on the back of the bike. It does fold down, but it's still a bit of a lump and then the trousers on top. My old jacket would fold down small enough to go in the pocket of my main jacket, but it leaked, so useless. This is much more substantial. It's nicely lined, so it's actually quite comfortable to wear. The other one wasn't. It's not too big and baggy. I wore it today over the top of a base layer, my body armor, a thermal layer, and then my adventure spec race jacket on top of that, and it kept me completely warm and dry. Key points that I like about it. The closure system on the wrist is so simple. It's just Velcro with a kind of neoprene cuff so it keeps the wind from coming up the sleeves and it snugs down tight over the gloves. It's got no pockets on it anywhere, nor the trousers. Superb, I don't need pockets on the outer jacket. It's just another place for it to leak. Zip, and then very simple Velcro over the top. Works incredibly well and it looks really well put together, as you'd expect for the price. The collar system is a bit interesting. You actually get two of these neck pieces that seem to be slightly different sizes, depending on the size of your neck. This worked really well at snugging up, and if it had been raining heavy, which it didn't today, the water, I guess, from the helmet is gonna drip onto your shoulders and not run down inside your neck, which would be very uncomfortable. And most important of all, it appears to be pretty abrasion resistant. My one worry was that when I'm brushing past twigs and brambles and trees or falling off, or in the case of the trousers, kneeling in the dirt to work on the bikes, I was worried about how well it would stand up to that, but it seems to be okay. It's come out unscathed. The only thing I would probably do on the trousers is put some sort of protective patch on the knees. You can already see where I'm having to kneel down the dirt and they're getting, they're getting, some of the stitching starting to get snagged a little bit. It's still waterproof, there's still no issues with it whatsoever, but for peace of mind, I'm gonna stick some Cordura patches on these, just rather than waiting for them to tear and then trying to patch up a hole. These are a 36 waist, which is a little bit big for me, but I needed them to be big and baggy to go over my knee braces and so on, and they did the job great. The other thing I like about the trousers is that the zip at the side comes all the way up to the hip. So when you want to try and get them on quickly over your boots and it's pouring with rain or it started to rain, you can do so. You simply throw them on and then zip them up afterwards. Very, very simple indeed. Really good idea. All in all, very pleased. In fact, so much so that we're going to get a smaller size and get Jen uh, the same. She wears, again, a cheap waterproof that isn't much good. The trousers don't go over her boots properly, so she's going to get herself exactly the same. And it looks okay as well. It's not the most exciting thing in the world, but it, it looks all right. Far more interesting, Moscow Moto tank bag. I love this thing. My concern was that I wouldn't fit on the bike because it takes up so much space. It's not designed to go on a bike like this. In fact, someone did advise me on the Facebook forum where I first saw it, don't get it, it won't fit a 690, it won't fit a 701. I ordered it anyway. I thought I'd simply see how I get on. You might find an issue if you're someone that likes to move your body weight really close to the front when you're cornering hard, sort of motocross style. Obviously you can't do that. I'm not motocrossing, I'm simply traveling gently across the countryside. So for me, sitting in the middle of the seat is absolutely fine. Let's look at it in more detail. Okay, so on the top we've got the Molly webbing system, which I use to attach my Leatherman to, just so I've always got it available. This then, clips out the sides and is acting a little bit like the beaver tail system that they use on the rector system. It basically means you could adjust this, you could have this flat sitting up much higher if you wanted and stuff anything under there. Gloves, your waterproof under there, you could do cinch it down that will hold it all in place. Otherwise in here, you've got storage. I've got my tire pressure monitor in here, you've got storage for pens if you wanted to get some work done in the office while you're out and about. And then net flaps. I keep my wing mirror in there because I run my GoPro on the wing mirror normally. Again, more storage sections behind here. 
there are clasps if you want to lock your keys onto there. And then the first of the main sections below. I've emptied it since I've got back, but I was using this to hold all sorts. I keep my small first aid kit in here, much larger first aid kit kept at the back. Loads of sections for all your bits and pieces. I use this for keeping camera gear in predominantly. So I've got lenses, memory cards, all sorts of stuff in here. Uh, at the top here, I keep my wallet, my mobile phone, things that I need to grab hold of quickly and easily, all kept up here. And then for me, the main advantage is the larger section below because that is where I keep my drone, my drone controller. Big section up here where I can keep spare batteries if I need to. And there's loads of room. I was worried there wouldn't be enough space, but there's there's plenty. In fact, the phone is not with it at the moment, but the phone that I control my drone from fits in there. It means I can leave the drone controller rigged up and ready to go with the drone packed along beside it. I don't need to break it down each time. And there's huge amounts of room. There's a further section right at the front where I keep another spare battery for the drone in there. Slightly pointless, but it's available if you need it. Lastly, at the bottom, there is another section designed for um, a water bladder, a hydration bladder. There's even a clip at the front somewhere. Here to clip your hydration pipe into. I didn't use it, and the reason I didn't use it is because the space to access that is at the front here, and it's pretty small and tight. And when you're trying to squeeze, as I did, a full water bladder into that small hole, it just becomes more hassle than it's worth. So I didn't bother. I'm quite happy to carry my water in the bags on the back of the bike. The fixings that attach it to the bike are superb. These aren't going anywhere at all. They're easily adjustable. At the front end, I always cable tie and lock these out the way. I don't want these straps flapping around because of all the important stuff up here that deals with the point in the bike in the right direction. But again, not going anywhere. You have to be slightly careful on the 701 because the key obviously goes in here. If the bag shifts too much, and I've had this in the past with an old tank bag, it can shift up enough to knock the key and turn the bike off. This didn't budge at all. There's no way it's moving forward because I've got it cinched down properly up at this end. Equally, there's no way it's moving backwards either. It's rock solid on there. Very, very happy with it. To unclip it, if you're taking it in when you arrive somewhere, you don't want it left out on the bike. It's nice and simple, just clips off and away you go. It looks superb, especially if you run other Moscow Moto gear at the same time. I like everything to match. All round, really, really pleased with it. My Bay worry was I wouldn't fit on the bike, and I do. My next worry was it wouldn't take all my gear, and it does. So, superb. Good Christmas present. Well done, me. Do I recommend it? If you've got a bike where it will fit properly, I absolutely recommend it. It is a superb piece of kit. If you've got a bike like this, just be aware that you can't slide your body weight forward and it does need to be fitted securely and properly because you can't have it wobbling about banging into your key or banging into you. Very, very happy. Okay, and that is it. My clutch worked, my waterproofs worked, my tank bag worked. Superb day out on the trails. I don't even know how that's possible. So how about I'll remove your bike from the... <laughs> I don't think you can, it's very stuck. Like it's fucking in there. <laughs> don't want to mislead, this is all you need. Be your everything, yeah, I'll be your everything. Still too soon to feel. Please just say it's real More than just a thrill Not just in it for the thrill